Adam Kroll, I do not begrudge a good party. In fact, that party looked like it was a great party. I would love to have gone to that great party. It's not that. It's the hypocrisy of it to complain about masks and social distancing. And then Obama throws a, a soiree, a bash to end all bashes. Your thoughts, sir? Well, could it go any other way? I mean, haven't we just been living through this for the last 19 months? The mayors, the governors, you know, I'm out here in California. We got Governor Newsom locking down the entire state and then going to the French laundry. I mean, the list just goes on and on. I honestly don't mind that they're leading their lives. They're going out, they're eating, they're getting their hair done. They're doing all the things we've all wanted to do over the last 19 months. It's just obviously the hypocrisy of them telling us what to do while they do what they want to do. That's the part I take umbrage with. But it also suggests they don't believe it. I mean, think about how you would act if you really thought your kids were in danger, if you really thought you were in danger, your family, your spouse, your wife, you wouldn't go to the French laundry with no mask and sit shoulder to shoulder with 19 of your closest friends. So the, the takeaway that people really should hear when these people do this is it's not the hypocrisy part. It's that they don't believe it. Think about it. If this was a movie about a pandemic, and it was killing people left and right, would they engage in this kind of reckless behavior if it was actually killing them the way they say it is? And the answer, of course, is no. So the takeaway is they don't believe it. They've never believed it, not nearly to the extent that they want you to believe it. They want to control you, but they're not buying into it. You, Adam, do you think the timing of this party, I mean, it's a 60th birthday party, I get it, but you think the timing, especially with the size of it and the event, you know, days after the CDC upgrades its mask guidelines to wear a mask indoors, do you think that this is any sort of shot by Obama at the Biden administration? That's an interesting uh, thought. No, I, here's what I think about the Obamas or the Newsoms or the Lori Lightfoots or the Bidens or whomever. What if you knew you had CNN and MSNBC and USA Today and New York Times and Los Angeles Times? What if you knew they had your back? What if you knew you could do whatever you wanted and they would never critique you or criticize you, you know? Well, then you would do whatever you wanted. And so they act with impunity because who in mainstream media is going to take Obama out and really call him to the carpet on this. And with that in mind, why not do what you want to do? You know, and also, once again, they don't think it's dangerous. I'm glad you brought up Mayor Lightfoot because she had a massive Lollapalooza celebration of a couple weeks ago with literally thousands, if not tens of thousands of people. Now, I heard Fauci complain about a, a biker rally in, in, in Sturgis I didn't hear him complain about th tens of thousands in Lollapalooza. I certainly didn't hear him complain. This was yesterday, Sunday, after the Obama party. He didn't complain about the Obama party either. Well, of course. And Fauci showed his cards, you know, a year and three months ago when he wouldn't step up and take a stance against the Black Lives Matter rallies and marches. So it, it, anyone who followed Fauci before then is fine. After the questioning he got in front of Congress about saying, you know, outdoor, you know, large groups are bad, out, you know, ball games are bad, churches are bad, restaurants are bad. Well, how about Black Lives Matter rally? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no opinion on that. The second I heard that, I knew he had now declared a major. He said, I'm on this side. And everything that came from his mouth after that, I heard through the filter <laughs> of a guy who was on that side of the aisle. Declared, and declared, a, declared a major in political non-science, so to speak. <laughs> um, so right. so, so uh, Sturgis Bikers bad, Lollapalooza parties in Chicago good. Uh, another major uh, political hypocrisy of the week, Adam, was this past week, uh, Representative Cory Bush from Missouri just kind of said the, the quiet part out loud when she said this. Take a listen. I have private security because my body is worth being on this planet right now. 
And she went on to say that she deserved private security, spent $70,000 in private security, but let's defund the police for the rest of y'all. Your thoughts? Well, again, they say things with impunity because they have the media backing that. I mean, go back to the aforementioned Lori Lightfoot. Remember, she got busted getting her hair done, and she just said into a microphone, hey, I care about my hygiene. That was her excuse, <laughs> is, is if we don't. As if we don't, so, right. right. Or I, 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 my body being on this planet is much more important than when you and your unwashed masses body being on the planet. It's insane that they say this stuff into hot mics. And that's what I said. They act with impunity because they know the media has their back. Yeah, you know what, Adam? It, it, it's it's a representative here. It's a mayor in Chicago there, and then and a former president on the Vineyard. It 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 cuts across the whole swath of the left right now. Adam Carolla, thank you for joining us. The Adam Carolla Show, a great podcast. Everyone needs to go watch that. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.